Okay folks, part two of the conversion. We've got the back of the bike stripped. Uh, just to give you an idea of what has to happen in order for this to be done properly. So the rear crash bars have to come off and all that has to be refitted so the exhaust hangs correctly. Yes, you have to lower the lower mud guard in order to get the cable. You have to have a new cable, new release cable. This is for the rider's lock and pillion lock. That is the Bowden cable release for the pillion lock and you can't get it in there properly because it's blocked off by that inner plastic box that sits up under here. So this whole thing has to go down. So um, also giving it a little clean. This side is not the clean side. That side's the somewhat less filthy side, but we will wipe the frame down. Um, give the wipe inside a little wipe as well. While it's apart, might as well do it. Uh, the owner is going to be washing this bike extensively so he's actually ridden down from Queensland for us to do the conversion so vote of confidence well done Mick um, and the bike is clean ex-police obviously but wanting to be two up so let me show you what we we'll removed before we get on to the new parts in part three which will be the final fix off so everything that's being removed from the bike so far we've got panniers in a toolbox seat adjuster uh, sort of plastic surround that goes around the air intake and both side covers police seat crash bars in a police box mount back police box base plate bowden cable and, and riders seat latch release and the actual police radio box itself everything on this side so all of this stuff is going to go that will not go back on the bike only this stuff will go back obviously in order to replace this, um, and in this case we're also taking off the front crash bars, um, this is all going to be uh, saved for future restorations. That bit will all go back on, and then we have new replacement bodywork. So these panels get cut down to accommodate the radio box which sits on top of them. So you have to replace all three of those. So we have new that are painted in police white. We have a new rider and pillion seat, which is OEM spec, and all the mounting hardware, Bowden cable latches, etc., 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 plus a set of pillion pegs that will go right here, which is where the rear crash bar is mounted. So there's a bit to do. So I'll keep moving on this. I'll do another video after we've got the back half of the bike converted, and you can kind of see the before and after picture. Catch you in that vid, everyone.